driverless cars used to be science fiction. Now they are cruising the streets of Ann Arbor. I took a ride with the CEO of May Mobility, who says eventually we will all be riding around this way, and it may come sooner than you think. Remember when it was a crazy idea to hop in a car with a stranger? Now we do it all the time, without a second thought. So if you want to go ahead, you can click the check in. So check in there, and then check in there. And then scan the old QR code. Hi there. Ed Olson, CEO of Ann Arbor-based May Mobility, says with self-driving cars, it'll be the same thing. I think we're already seeing that transition coming very quickly. People really like the autonomous ride experience. These cars are already driving around Ann Arbor on public roads with no one behind the wheel. We graduated to operating without safety drivers just over a year ago. The human driver's eyes have been replaced by sensors and lasers. There's a radar behind here okay. and on the other side and then two more in the back. And lots of cameras, so many cameras. Lots of cameras. And the driver's brain has been replaced by a computer that's constantly simulating thousands of possibilities of what might happen next. So this is actually a fun, uh, unprotected left turn. So the cross traffic doesn't stop. So the vehicle looks in both directions yeah. and makes sure that it's clear to go. And if the car gets confused, it does something many humans struggle to do. It asks for help. And then a human can sort of teleport into that vehicle okay. and help the vehicle decide what the right thing to do is. And who are these humans? Is there a call center essentially? Yeah, there is, yeah. We rode on a pretty simple route on a beautiful day and stayed under 35 miles per hour. But they're working on ramping things up to faster speeds in bad weather and unpredictable environments. Imagine when the big house lets out a game. Right. Right. That, that today we wouldn't go as a game is letting us. That's difficult to do for a human. As a human. Yeah. <laughs> and we will get there. Uh, okay. But that, those are the kinds of things that we're working on. May Mobility is now teaming up with Lyft and Uber, first in Atlanta, then in Texas. And in the next few years, Olson believes almost everyone will have ridden in a self-driving car. I told my mom I was doing this story and she was a little nervous about it. Mm. She's like, I don't know. I just, I don't trust it. <laughs> How do you get over that sort of mentality? But if you're standing out on the side of the street and you've got some place to go uh -huh. and an autonomous car shows up and it will take you directly to the destination and it's clean right. and it's, it's now, almost everybody will, will make the choice for convenience. Now, one of the biggest hurdles for the industry and that company is getting regulatory approval. But more than half of states already have legislation related to autonomous vehicles. And as of today, they can operate in a large part of the country. I know another person who's not so sure, and that is Terrence Friday. <laughs> Without a doubt, not so sure at all. I was sitting there admiring your bravery. I will say, after 30 seconds or so, you just kind of forget no one's in that front seat. Whew, yeah. I don't know if I'm ready for that, Stacey. Are you? No. Not I'm, at all? I'm with you and <laughs> Shayna's we'll mom. I feel like I could do it, but I'd be over there like this the whole time. Yeah, well, time will tell in a few years. We'll see. It's amazing, okay. though. The technology really is just right. amazing.